Hope everybody's doing fine today. Hope everybody enjoyed the Purple Skies Double Dream. We're going to look to Mississippi River again right now because it's still running low and getting lower. So let's find out where the waters are going. And we're going to start in Isaiah chapter 19 and verse 5. And Isaiah 19 is about the fall of Egypt. And I think that I'll just start in verse 1. The burden of Egypt, behold, the Lord rides upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt. The idols of Egypt shall be moved at his presence. His presence and the heart of Egypt shall melt in the midst of it. Verse 2, And I will set the Egyptian against Egyptians, and they shall fight every one against his brother, and every one against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. They've already had some rights. Verse 3, And the spirit of Egypt shall fail in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the counsel thereof, and they shall seek the idols. And to the charmers, and to them whom have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. Verse 4, And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of the cruel Lord, and the fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. Isaiah 19 verses 1 through 4. Well, the lowest point on the Mississippi, put one and one together. There's the pyramid there. Egypt had pyramids, and there was a Memphis there, and you have a Memphis, Tennessee, so children could figure it out. So now 19, verse 5 in Isaiah. And the waters shall fail from the sea, and the river shall be wasted and dried up. Verse 6, And they shall turn to the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense shall be emptied and dried up, and the reeds and flags shall weather. 7, The paper reeds by the brooks, by the mouth of the brooks, and everything sown by the brooks shall weather, be driven away and be no more. Verse 8, the fishers also shall mourn, and they who cast angles into the brooks shall lament, and they who spread nets upon the waters shall languish. Verse 9, moreover they who work in fine flax, and they who weave networks shall be confounded. You know, talking about nets to fish with. And they shall be broken and purposes thereof, and all who make sluices and ponds for the fish. It's verse 10 in Isaiah 19, and saying that the industry and all of that, you know, hinting in these notes here, shall be brought to a standstill during the time of the tribulation. It's almost there. Mississippi means the father of the waters, Mississippi means great waters, and it's getting low right there at Egypt, and Pyramid there in Memphis marks the spot, and this refers to Egypt, so there you have it. Water's getting low. I'm going to go look at this over here. Isaiah 44 and verse 27 And we'll read this. This verse says, Who says to the deep, comma, Be dry, and I will dry up your rivers. And 44.28 of Isaiah, Who says of Cyrus, He is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying to Jerusalem, You shall be built and to the temple your foundation shall be laid. 
and you know the rivers going dry was sign of Babylon being taken and as we know America's mystery Babylon so that's reason too go to Joel here And that was in the 120. Joel 119 through 20. And the day of the Lord the destruction. Joel 119. O Lord to you will I cry for fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness and the flame has burned all the trees of the field. Verse 20, the beasts of the field cry also unto you, for the rivers of waters are dried up, and the fire has devoured the pastures of the wilderness. You notice the Mississippi's low, and California's raging on fire, burning whole neighborhoods. Two and two together, tragically, that's where your waters are going. It's Isaiah 19:5. The Egypt, Babylon, and commerce connotation referral to the Great Tribulation. Hope you enjoyed it. Those are the words from the Bible, so they are what they are. Go read them for yourself, and I'll explain why the Mississippi's drying up. And I think it was 5104 and Strong's Concordance. The river being dried up also refers to the prosperity of a nation being dried up and the Mississippi is the main commerce channel and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it and go read God's word while the Mississippi is going dry like Hank Williams said in his song.